At last, I was ready to head off to the office. Oops, I just remembered. I forgot to introduce myself. I guess I have got too much Christmas on, on the brain. Anyway, my name is Stilton. Geronimo Stilton. I am a publisher and a writer. I run a newspaper called the Rodents Gazette. It is the most popular paper on Mouse Island. But maybe you already know me. I do not want to boast, but here in New Mouse City, I am fairly well known. Lots of mice have read my funny tales of adventures. Let's see, where was I? Oh yes, I was on my way to the office. Even though I was dressed warmly, I was still cold. I had mouse bumps everywhere. I wrapped my staff around my whiskers to keep them from freezing. Still, I was not that going to let the weather get me down. I love the holiday season. I smiled under my staff. New Mouse City looked so beautiful under a blanket of snow. The tall buildings sparkled with shiny icicles, and the roads were covered with a fluffy white powder. Rodents of every size, shapes, and color rushed here and there. Many carried packages, gifts for their loved ones. I spotted a rodent dressed as Santa Mouse in front of a department store. He was ringing a golden bell. Merry Christmas to all, he squeaked to the rodents passing by. On one street corner stood a group of young mice. They were singing Christmas carols. I wanted to join in, but I did not. My sister Thea tells me I have a terrible singing voice. I think I sound great, but just in case I kept my mouth shut. I did not want to spoil the moment. Next, I passed by one of New Mouse City's best gourmet cheese shops. Better cheddar and beyond. I sniffed the air. It smelled heavenly. I peeked inside. Beautifully arranged were all of those yummy cheeses. Warm orange American Holy Swiss. Milky white mozzarella. You do not need any of those cheeses. Remember, you are on a diet. A little voice inside my head squeaked. I nodded, but before I could leave, I heard another little voice. It is Christmas, Geronimo. This one, this one said, Go ahead and treat yourself. Two seconds later, I was inside the store, drooling over two giant gift wrapped baskets of cheese. I will take them both, I told the shopkeeper. Please deliver them to 8 Mouseford Lane. I left before any of the voices could return to yell at me. As I walked past the toy shop, I noticed an enormous stuffed cat in the window. Benjamin would love it, I thought. I decided it would be okay to buy another present for him. After all, he is my favorite nephew. The cat was so big, I had it delivered to my, to my mouse hole. Now I had have two Fabio Mouse surprise coming in the mail. The cheese and Benjamin's present. Yes, this was going to be one extra special Christmas.